Welcome back. Welcome back. I'm MTG Joe. I'm going to come with a quick one today. We're not live, so this is just a replay. Um, this is a, another rotation deck. I'm trying to get through as many as I can. Uh, from I know a lot of people have requested them on the comments, so don't worry, I'm getting to them. Uh, I know there was an Elementals request. I had this one already queued up, so I just wanted to get this uh, out of, through the way. So this is a Jeskai Super Friends variant that is completely rotation proof. Uh, a lot of the core of the deck, because War of the Spark is what really introduced the Jeskai Super Friends uh, deck, is still alive and kicking. Uh, you lose a couple, like the Sweepers and Settle the Wreckage and Cleansing Nova, uh, as well as like Mox uh, Amber, uh, but the core of the deck's still there. Um, so to walk you through the deck, so kind of a reminder if you're tuning in for the first time, these decks aren't intended to say this will be 100% the new meta. Uh, this will be a tier 1 deck come fall rotation. Really what they're set to do is kind of explore the the notion of you only have these four sets of cards plus the unknown element of what's coming through Throne of Eldraine. What can we throw together? What kind of synergies still exist? What decks are harder to come by uh, in terms of losing key cards? Um, so in this deck here, we have early removal in both Shock and Lava Coil. Uh, this is basically to clear the way. We have a glut at the three drop slot in terms of powerful planeswalkers. Uh, so, and then we have Prison Realm as well as removal. It gets rid of planeswalkers, which the deck will probably have a little bit harder time dealing with planeswalkers themselves. Uh, so I got Mu Yangling Skydancer. Uh, she was pretty good the one time I played her in... Um, it was that special format the other week. Uh, just kind of tapping down stuff. If we could ever emblem off, it's just a card draw engine. Obviously, you know, Narset shuts off your opponent's draws, digs us deeper, so card advantage. I got Teferi, same idea, so that's the core of most Super Friends decks. Uh, I want to try Dovin as well. Basically, just even if we just down tick it three times, it's three blockers for our more like reasonable Planeswalkers. Uh, Sahili, two of. And this deck here, it's harder for us to protect her, so just want to go two. Three of Deafening Clarion pretty much covers all the aggro decks in terms of wiping up. Um, and then we have a time, a couple time wipes to cover up the rest of it. I went with two uh, God Eternal Kefnets. So this is card advantage. It's a reoccurring uh, source of damage. Uh, we're fine to bounce it with time wipe. It doesn't die from Clarion, so it can help us gain life. And then we have uh, quite a few, num uh, not like a crazy amount of instants and sorceries, but can help us dig a little deeper. Uh, a Johnny's a life gain card. Uh, we're going to be against like aggressive decks. Gaining the extra life could be meaningful. Uh, and then it does have kind of a, a pseudo removal ability in the zero. Uh, Kashmina is a way to protect our planeswalkers. Also loot with the tokens. Sarkin is obviously the payoff. Uh, you get to make all your planeswalkers into 4-4 four, four dragons. And at, against some decks, the minus three create a dragon they can't attack in because the creatures die and then chandra is a way against control you put the emblem it puts a clock on them so in this like here we're going with 25 lands because our curves a little bit higher uh it's pretty much all the duels you got all the shock lands uh four of the temples three of of uh, sorry four of red green uh red blue temple uh three of red white temple and then four of Interplanar Beacon, which is basically a tri line in our deck that also gains us life. And I wanted to include one Blast Zone. Um, this could be a mobilized district, but I think just having the potential to have a board wipe come from your line could be useful. Sideboard wise is pretty clean. Fries versus blue, bla uh, blue white matchups. Uh, Dovin's Veto versus uh, more control decks. Flame Sweep against Aggro or Scape Shift. Legion's War Boss. We don't really play many small creatures, so the opponent's more inclined to side out sweepers or board removal against like Nexus. This is a good card to kind of slide in. And then a couple Ashiox for Scape Shift, or even against like Control, you just mill away. There's a lot of decks like the Ramp decks or the Field decks that just naturally draw through most of their deck. Like I play a lot of uh, Yark Field uh, for Ranked, and with that deck there, it tends to just I can get through 40 to 50 cards in my deck, no problem. I have to put a Nexus of Fade in just to avoid milling out. So that's the deck. 
I'm gonna run it through probably just an unranked first, seeing how it goes, then we'll do a ranked. Uh, and then let me know what you think in the comments and if there's any other decks you'd like to see. Uh, so I'll be doing this for a couple, uh, I'll probably just be playing a couple like fun decks until we go to rotation. If there is anything you'd like to see, do drop a comment below. And as always, um, if you do want to catch me live, the easiest way to know when I'm on Twitch is to just uh, follow on Twitch. And if you're here on YouTube, if you can hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. It's a free and easy way to help support the channel. Closing in on a thousand subs. I'm going to be doing a couple giveaways at a thousand subs. So at any time if you sub to my channel, you are automatically entered into the draw. Um, so I'm going to keep this hand. A board wipe seems reasonable against control if we can get Sahili going, plus we have two scries. Um, I'm going to keep Prison Realm in the dark right now, just in case this is a Planeswalker based deck. Okay, so Elf on one. It's creature based deck, so time wipe is reasonable. Basically, if we could control the board, Chandra will run away with it. And depending on what they come down with here, so Jade Light. Okay, so they got the Wild Growth. Um, here. I'm just gonna play the Land Tact. I want them to commit the Wild Growth Walker to the battlefield. This is a little bit riskier if they have like Wild Growth and Merfolk Branch Walker. But it does kind of get us ahead. So this might be like a green black mid range deck. Uh, some of them are playing like Thrashing Brontodons, they're playing uh, Casualty of Wars to blow up lands. See what the opponent is thinking about. It'd be encouraging if they attack with the line war elf as well. Okay. So we should be able to sweep the board, drop the land down. And then we have to ferry as a tempo play for next turn to dig us to the next land. Give our non existing board lifelink. So there we three for one to our opponent. Bonds of Flourishing. Okay, so this is the Citadel deck. Um, you don't get rid of... Um, so here, I think we just go to Fairy. Sets them back a turn, it doesn't let them gain life. And then we get a land for Chandra, so Chandra can start pinging them. So here, we could time wipe them. Or actually, what I'm going to do here... This. I'm gonna do Sahili. We'll create great things and then now. just exile the Wild Growth Walker. We got a blocker, and then we can instant speed time wipe whenever we're ready there. So even if the opponent goes off. Uh, do I want Kefnet now? Kefnet's pressure. But I think I just want more Planeswalkers. I just want that reoccurring value. Interesting, they just dropped that. Well, we got the Wild Growth. So they have Bolus' Citadel, they can play that, play a bunch of stuff out, but then if we time wipe, it's just pretty good value. We've also hit two of their Wild Growth Walkers. So it's usually a pretty good sign. If we can get rid of those, that's how they gain a lot of their life. 
They also haven't played like Wayward Sword 2. The sequencing is wrong there. You should probably play the Bolas of Citadel first, and then you can decide whether or not you want to scry away the top card. So that's effectively a free card. Actually, you net one life off that. That's the Misa. Misa can be a little problematic. Here we go. Played out this line so we can start gaining some life back. I know who I am, and no one is telling you. Let's get toast. And uh, we'll just pass the turn. So they can do Nisa. They can make a land, or uh, like a creature land. But then we can uptick to fairy and then time wipe them. And then Teferi can also then bounce Bolas' Citadel, resetting him that way. The one thing to remember is uh, Nisa creates elementals and Chandra's zero or minus three doesn't uh, impact elementals. So they're not playing anything else further from hand. That's encouraging. It's also good to know for next game that we want to hold the prison realms for the Nisas. We might want some Aether Gusts in the deck. That's the one thing. We don't have a clean uh, like green hate card. Pretty good. But we're kind of better. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can bounce the land to their hand. That's more like it. And then just exile this. So this does let them potentially go off with that, but I actually don't mind because we can try to catch up naturally. So they've seen this land already, so I'll just play that out. They're more likely to just play creatures out. And again, this all gets swept up with the time wipe that we have in hand. Up there. Okay, so they got the J light. Clearing two lands off the top is pretty good value. So we'll see what they go with. If anything further, this is not land, right? Yeah. So they only have five, and we're at 15 life, so they can't one shot us yet. Ooh, we got Clarion as well. I'll protect you. Hope it's not too hot for you. Uh, no attacks. Just pass turn. So they know about the time wipe, so we'll see if they commit any more to the board. What they don't know about is the Clarion, which is also useful. It's fine. Okay. 
There's also like us. I think they can with Gaia's Blessing loop in the deck. Let's see if they go into attack step. to our hand doesn't really do too much. Are they going to commit any more to the board? Okay, so they got Massacre Girl. I can also Chandra and Clarion to get rid of stuff if need be. can bring back the wild growth walkers. If they do that, I'm probably just gonna Clarion. Or actually no, if I just wait till next turn, it's fine. is actually really good. Nebraska can get rid of the fairy. Only a fool can get rid of Narset. Could get rid of the prison realm. Uh, they just go for the card draw. So they might just be trying to clear the top of their library. Wild growth get a little bit larger than I'd like. But at this point, um, might have been a misplay to not get rid of the Citadel. Okay, last one's not bad. I've done the hero thing before. So, deals three. I've always wanted to make a really big fireball. Deals three. And we can just set this up. We'll determine what their board state looks like. From there, they might be trying to go just go Gari or uh, Vraska emblem to win the game. So we might have to go to four there. Legion's end. Two might also be reasonable. Be interesting to see too what they decide to prioritize to fairy or Chandra. There are twenty cards in library. And they might be trying to just go for the kill. That gets it up to eight. That's a free spell. Another Jade Light. have to do well they still have the activation here that's free to cast it's 11 beasts 
are much more reliable than humans. Okay. That can have every defeat is a new beginning. See if they mill out. Sacrifices must be they draw off the top. So they don't care about our board. So I'm going to put a one counter on it. It gets rid of most of their board. Also want to look for stuff like Clarion here. They have Assassin's Trophy. We have drawn quite a bit of our mana. Really help. Uh, so let's set up the scry. Narsa can help us dig deeper. So I think I need to play safe. Bounce the jade light. Might be a bad idea. I can give us a life. Give us a blocker. Um, Prison Realm gives us another shot that lets us loot and gain this life. Okay. War is coming. I will not be unprepared. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Get toasty. I think we make a token regardless. My students are loyal geniuses. Um, and then just pass the turn. Oh no, that's three. Ah, crap! I lost. It's two to activate, three to play. That was a misplay, misplay, misplay. We would have got prison realm. We would have been fine. Okay, so Ashiok's good here. Flame sweep's good. Uh, is flame sweep even good? I don't think so. War boss isn't gonna do much in this matchup, and I don't think we're keeping up the counters. They're not playing white or blue, so it's not as relevant. Kazmina feels pretty bad here. I think our matchup's pretty okay. Maybe, like at the very least, Dovin just makes blockers and gains us some life. I like Time Wipe, this gains us life. Do we want the flame? So it gets Branch Walker, Llanowar Elf, and then a Jade Light that doesn't quite. Eh, maybe one of those. Go down Dovin. Lava Coil can at least hit. Just play it like that. Ah, we probably could have stabilized too. That's a bummer. Read your cards. It always helps to read your cards. Also doesn't help that this is an incredibly grindy matchup and our deck is also very grindy. What are your thoughts for the uh, weekend event, the Zendikar Landfall event? So it's like if you play a land and the top card of your library is a land, then it goes into the battlefield. If you play a creature, then the creature goes to the bottom of the library and you create a 1-1. One -one. So I'm probably just going to play Yark Field again, because I play 30 lands in the deck. Uh, this hand's not going to do anything. This hand's much better. Mu Yanling is probably the play to go away. I'm gonna set up with the scry. Um, I think I'm okay bottoming lands for like Teferi or Narset right now. 
we have answers for the first few turns. And the fact they don't have turn one land war elf is pretty good. Turn two land war elf. So they might be struggling for lands. They have the field. So I'm just gonna go tempo play. That draws us a land. To ferry with all these board wipes is really good. It lets us kind of answer on their turn. They could field us if they choose. And then play Llanowar Elf. If they're going to spend three mana to play an elf, that's fine. Our basic's still in the library. Um, I've got here. So if they play like an explorer or a, with the trigger on the stack, we can deafening glare in if they explore. Worst case, we just uh, lava coil this. It also exiles it, which is good for fine finality. Opponent is taking their time. They already play a slower deck. Used about two minutes more than us so far. You got three mana. So with the trigger here, we get to wipe their board. Because, you know, Teferi's not busted enough. like a way to try to get ahead. Teferi's good at grinding, but it doesn't actually win the game. And with our opponent struggling on mana, uh, here, I'm just gonna go Lava Coil, mainly because I want those exiled. Okay, Johnny's. So, I want the threat first. Yeah. Alright. That's how you grind them out. Uh, I'm gonna run it back. Seems like a good plan. Obviously, the opponent stumbled on mana there, but a handful of board wipes against a bunch of creatures is not really gonna do much. Hey, where'd you go? Dog's right behind me. She likes uh, sleeping right at the foot of the chair. All right, so opponent just doesn't want to play. Since they conceded, I'll do a best of one just to showcase the deck. It is quite discouraging to play against if you are a creature based deck. And if we could, like against control, if we could slip down a couple planeswalkers, especially with most of them moving away from dedicated counters. Our deck probably has a very hard time against like Simic Flash. We are playing Richard. Yeah, I'll keep this in. Obviously better against the creature deck. Um, so here I'm actually, you, if you have the option to shock the elf on one, you shock the elf. Opponent could have kept a hand contingent on. Um, I'm also not going to show that we have the second color yet. Uh, yeah, Sarkin's good. So far we've seen all X ones, so. Elf collector. Well, I think this is how we get an auto concede out of the opponent. <laughs> I like 
like how Pelt Collector like adds insult to injury. So I'm just gonna dig for another land here. The fairies like a land, you can minus it. Obviously this deck plays something like Carnage Tyrant or Voracious Hydra is also bad. But we have a Teferi. See, I knew that was coming. Trust me. You'll thank me later. Let's try so this. you can try that again. And not a land, so. Like that, we would have been able to only drop a Narset and it would have died. Uh, that's got Trample as well. So I'm probably more inclined to Time Wipe it. So we got Kashmina. I'm gonna go no, cash Mina I here. Get rid of the shock. Need my instructions. Join my cause. And then just go from there. Either of our planeswalkers that die die this turn. Okay. And that is a fair trade, sir. Oh, that's so good. Here we go. Uh, I'm just gonna get rid of this. Yeah. Answer all their threats, they're not gonna do much. Anyways, we got a few games in with the deck. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you do enjoy the content, please make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great one.